We're going to talk to a guy now that um, is 39 years of age. He was one of the leading um, cruiserweights in Europe when he was an amateur and at his peak about 10 or 12 years ago. In fact, he was ranked higher than David Hay. He fought plenty of the other GB fighters who were the, the daddies at that weight. Anyway, he's, um, he's decided at the age of 39, after winning, I think, five Irish uh, amateur titles, he's been training kids for 10 years, he's decided to make his pro debut. It's bizarre. But anyway, he's always been a bit of a character. He's from Sligo, and, um, and that's a fun place. It's a fun city, trust me. And uh, so I managed to speak to him a bit earlier on, and the first thing I asked him, it's Block Reynolds, Stephen Reynolds, is, actually, Steve, where have you been for the last 10 years? I'm taking a break. <laughs> We're taking a break. <laughs> uh, have you been training fighters? Is that where you've been, in theory? I've been what? Have you been training boxers? Yes, that's what I've been doing. I've been coaching. When I retired, I... I, I went into coach and my, my, my coach Mercedes went to went to do with the college and she's since gone to Australia and so I took over the run of the club. And and Steve, what what made you then decide, you know, having had a fantastic amateur career all those years, what at six or five Irish titles, higher ranked than David Hay at time, been in with the best around the world, all sorts of tournaments. You then vanished yeah. for ten years. What made you decide to come back, but as a professional? Yeah, just to, just to try to test it, to, to show that I can still box. That's why I'm doing it. So, so you're back against the the guy up, the guy who's based up in Belfast, Moses, who's a bit of Moses, a he's a bit Moses of a lunatic. Matuba. Yeah. yeah right. He's a bit like myself, Steve. Yeah. Something in common. Steve, I didn't want to say that. I'm glad you said it, because the two of you <laughs> together, if I needed a good night out anywhere in Ireland, even the north or the south, I'd pick you two as my drinking partners. <laughs> All right, OK. Good stuff. But, well, but... I, I wouldn't be much good at drinking. You'd probably have me after a pint or two. Yeah, but you'd, you'd, still, <laughs> you'd still have the crack. Don't worry about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Steve, uh, did you have to lose plenty of weight, or did you, have you always kept in well, shape? I, no, I've always been in fairly good shape. I um, took up hammer throwing since since I I, I, I gave up boxing and I won I won the Irish uh, Masters and <laughs> I've been tipping away with other sports. But there's nothing like the feeling of the ring. Like there's there's nothing like uh, after having a good spare or having a good train. There's nothing like it. You can't you can't explain it. You know, it's just it's it's a bug that is very hard to shake. So, so basically, you've been sucked back in. You've been pulled back in. You've been dragged back in. That's right. That's right. Well, I wouldn't say dragged. I'd say I, I've been easing back into it, and I'm, I'm falling in love with the sport again. You know, uh, uh, the competition side of it. And training is going very well, and I'm in good condition. And you were asking me there a while ago about have I lost weight? I've lost about two stones since I started training at okay. Christmas, and and uh, I'm in good in good shape. So you're going to give it a go, and, and, and Moses is a brilliant guy, Matuba is a brilliant guy to check what you've got left. Um, good, how good. honest do you think you'll be with yourself, you know, uh, even if you win, you know, let's assume you win on points or, or you stop him. I mean, yeah. w will you be honest enough to say, listen, I may have got the win, but I know the timing's gone, the reflexes have gone? Of course I will. Good. Like, no, no one knows it more than me. Like, you know, the body just isn't the same as it used to be, you know. Although yeah. I'm, I'm hitting markers I've hit now when I was a young fella running over the road and sparring's going well. You know, it takes longer to recover. You've had to adjust my, I've had to adjust my training accordingly. And, you know, it's, it's just it's just slightly different, you know. Mm. Uh, just had to be careful. Steve, let me ask you this. How about, and finally, and thanks for your time. I know you boxed on July the 21st. Steve, let me ask you this. When did you first walk into a gym? How old were you? I was 22 when I joined uh, the boxing club. Okay. Uh, in, when I was with, with Mercedes staff, 22, and uh, I'm 39 now. I'm been out of the ring for about 10 years. Although I did go back two years ago in Australia, I bought, had two fights. Oh, did I didn't realise that. Was that out with Mercedes? Yes. You can, you can box over there. They have a masters division, oh. and you can be up to Mercedes is still boxing as well. She won the, the Australian title last year, but. And they don't have anything like that here in this country at the moment, although we tried to bring it in, they wouldn't allow it. I have it in England. It's a great idea, I think, for, for fellas that are, are, are old. Like, I'm well able to compete now with over four, sure. four three-minute rounds. So, 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 and and was, that, was that amateur? Was that still classified as amateur, amateur then? Yeah, that was amateur, yeah. Oh, so, so some, I know that there was talk about that in Great Britain. I'm not sure about Ireland. 
No, no, it's happened. It's happened in Britain. Okay. Listen, Steve. Oh. The best of luck, and let's hope we Thank speak to much. you sometime in the summer. Oh, hopefully, it'd be oh. great. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show. Thanks very much. Block Reynolds, when I spoke to him before I did the interview, I said, Steve, where exactly are you? He said, well, I'm in a shed at the end of the garden, near Sligo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Doug from Sligo, who's also on checkhookboxing.com, which I think is one of the better sites, one of the more adult sites, he assures me that there will be an <laughs> army of fans making their way, an army of fans making their way from Sligo to that fight. It's on July 21st. Uh, stay in touch with that, because Moses, we've had him on the show. He's a great a great character. Steve, uh, you, you pointed out something there. He, him and David Hay fighting the same world championships. David Hay's been there, done that, made the millions, and he's been training kids in his backyard. It's incredible. 2001. Here's David now, you know, looking towards the end of his career. He's just turning over. But it just seems, it's, is it a trend? There's a guy up in Liverpool, a cruiserweight who's turning pro, he's just turned pro at the age of 37, Lewis Cuddy. He's had a couple of fights oh. for Steve Wood. And did he box as an amateur 20 years ago? I'm not sure, ago? Steve. I don't, I don't Can know. Can you find out? I, don't, I will find out and I will tell you. But All right. Well, listen. Louis K. had two fights and he sells bundles of tickets. And what they're doing, they're launching a dinner club in, in, in Liverpool for this kid to fight on and sell oh, the place. Liverpool times, yeah. sporting club's being launched. Well,